stands six feet three and weighs about 15 stones and he's an altogether bigger man than his rival tonight Southport Rudy Pika the Welsh champion Pika stands just over six feet and goes about uh, just under 14 and a half stones have been chanting for their man all evening long. Banners, they've got tremendous Blue support. Corner, Pika, red corner, Bruno. So Pika, coming to the left, runner-up last year. Can he make it his title this year against this young, inexperienced prospect, Frank Second Bruno? Girl, girl one. Bruno all in white. He's won his last eight contests inside the distance. You can see the sort of reach and the height advantage that Frank Bruno's got over the Welsh champion. But he's not so experienced. Palmer of Liverpool, he couldn't take Palmer's punches. Will he be able to take Bruno's? And he's moving in Pika, a bit square on, wearing those unfashionably long pants. And he looks almost made to measure for that right hand of Bruno. Step back when I tell you, so then it's your feather. He is very badly outreached, Pika. He can't do anything from a distance. It's too short. Well, this inexperienced young man does pack a wallop and occasionally does look the part. A new heavyweight discovery is always exciting. And uh, there hasn't been quite a, an I as interesting a discovery in the heavyweight amateurs uh, for many years. We remember the old days of Billy Walker, of course, and uh, there hasn't been anything quite like it since. Uh, another look at uh, the way Bruno caught him with that right hand, a jolting punch. Pika moving on to it. Oof, no guard at all against that. But he took it well, I must say that for him. 
and Bruno has had this series of quick fire wins through these championships. He won his South East London title in 40 seconds. He won his London ABA semi-final in a minute and 45, and he won his English championship at Gloucester in 52 seconds. And he's up and ready to go already, so is Peter. Rudy Peter, who's the son of an Estonian father and a Welsh mother.